Hey y'all, welcome back to Random Keto. I'm Charlotte and today I'm testing out a recipe by Keto Upgrade for keto sugar cutout cookies, cutout sugar cookies, I don't know exactly what they're called. Let's just get right into testing the recipe. The first thing that we're going to do is add our softened butter, which I have um, somewhere, to our bowl. Okay, so she uses monk fruit sweetener, which I do have. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with allulose since I believe it measures the same. I certainly hope so. Add this to our bowl. Now I like the brand IsoPure, but I'm sure. Hey. I'll have and also, I got a new sifter since my other one broke, and this one's very holiday festive. <laughs> I feel like she's both moving really fast and moving really slow. We're supposed to beat it for five minutes. So while I sift all of these together, I'm gonna go ahead and whip it up. All right, that looks pretty well whipped to me. Let's see what the next step is. So now we're supposed to add our egg and our almond and our vanilla. I feel so fancy adding almond extract because I never bake with almond extract. Ooh. Oh, I didn't expect it to be clear. <gasps> Is it supposed to be clear? I'm gonna like mix it up. I thought it was gonna be tan like the vanilla. It is clear. Okay, I guess she just must have mixed it. I guess she just must have mixed it. I missed that part. Mine does not look like hers. <laughs> I feel like that's, oh, that's much better. Add all our ingredients all at once. So here goes nothing. She said it should come together like a dough. And this definitely looks like a dough to me. Very crumbly assuming. Oh my. I didn't expect it to squish like that. I don't know why I squished it like that, like I was playing with slime or something. <laughs> Such a weirdo. Flatten it into a circle. Mine is very squishy. Wow. This is something else. Quarter inch, huh? not going, oh, I was wrong. I don't know if those look like a quarter inch or not. Mike's still not being able to get all 18 out of the one sheet. I should have used parchment paper. To the fridge. I am gonna put it in the freezer for 30 minutes and see where that gets me. I may regret it terribly, but we'll see. All right, it's basically hard as a rock. So now I guess we're supposed to put it on a sheet pan, so. Her star picture is right up. Oh, I had to kind of squeeze it. Okay. I want to get one of each at least, or I may have froze it for too long. These cookie cutters with the more delicate shapes, you kind of have to punch them out. Oh, the head came off. Oh no, the head came off. And the leg, and the other leg. That to me is the fault of the cookie cutter, not the dough. Oh, and it broke in half, wow. I'm just gonna see if it'll kind of bake together. It looks like a weird alien. <laughs> it 
Okay, so things have happened. Um, these got way darker than expected. I put them in for 11 minutes and didn't check on them because she said she did 11 minutes and 30 seconds and hers were barely cooked. So I was like, oh, mine will be fine. Um, they're not fine. I mean, I'm sure they'll still taste fine, but they're certainly <laughs> not pretty. So do that again. These look a lot better. <laughs> um, here's how this one looks. This versus this. That's a pretty big difference. So they ended up being five minutes exactly. Upon reflection, the reindeer I should have taken out at four minutes because it had already started and the snowflake probably four minutes, 30 seconds. The rest of them turned out, I mean, pretty good. So now I have to let them cool, but seriously, like, can you, the difference, man, is rough. So I took my uh, leftover keto frosting, cause waste not, want not, and left some of it white and then have blue, yellow, green, and red. So I can, you know, have different colors the way you do. Yay, first cookie done. <laughs> How cute. How cute. The bell. The bells of Notre Dame. If I was willing to put any into a piping bag, then I would add some like pattern and stripes and a collar and it would be super cute. But it's two o'clock in the morning, so the days of doing anything fancy are gone. Okay. And then for the reindeer, what to do? I'm gonna do green. That way it looks more like our alien E.T. Alright. Yay! We had our cute little sprinkles. I dreamed of so much more as far as their aesthetics, but you will see me again in on the morrow for the taste test. <laughs> My kids couldn't wait for the taste test, but <laughs> so they're eating theirs. They seem to like them. Do you like your cookie? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna eat this one because. I've just been eyeing it since I made it. The simplicity is supposed to be. Now. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. I gotta eat cookie. The actual cookie itself is so good. It's so soft. It's just the perfect texture. The icing, I'm certain her homemade icing would have been better. I bet you with these homemade icing, with her homemade icing on it, these would be like, oh, like perfect. I like the icing though. She's licking it right off the cookie. But the cookie is literally so good that like you, are literally like, yeah, who cares about the icing? I do wish there was a touch more sweetness. And again, that's where the icing should be adding that. But overall, <laughs> There's really not much more to say about that. Honestly, it's been so long since I've had my grandma's sugar cookies that I don't really super remember a distinct difference in texture and taste. It's just a good sugar cookie. Mine rose a lot more than hers. I can't really figure out why. It must be some difference in humidity or maybe my butter was slightly more melted. It's hard to say, um, <clears throat> but overall, I'd call those a success. I'd say those are super good, and especially if you can't have nut flours like almond flour, um, 
for it not having any gluten or nut flour or anything like that. It's super good. I'd give it a nine out of 10 or maybe even a nine and a half out of 10, deducting only minorly, and this is being extremely nitpicky, because the coconut flour does make it a little bit dry. So like the more you eat it, the drier your mouth kind of gets, even with the icing on top. So to combat that, I would say be very liberal with your icing. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to try a different version of this recipe that has almond flour in it and see if it gets closer to the original. But ultimately, I think I would definitely make these again and next time I will try her homemade icing and I guarantee these will be just as tasty and delicious. I'm excited. Anyway, I have lots more Christmassy type content coming to this channel. So if you would like, please feel free to subscribe, like this video and share and I will be linking Keto Upgrades recipe in the description if you wanna try it out. Please do, it's super good. I hope you have a very blessed holiday season, and as always, I hope you guys have a good one. Bye, y'all. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas? Yeah, good job.